So it'll be Robert Barber, Richie Allen, Shannon Basco, Joey Kubion, and Colt Layfield is your field. Five cars, eight laps in distance, and we are racing at Sabine. Richie Allen out to the early lead in turn number one in the 82 car. Here comes Joey Kubion on the top. Going to go side by side with Robert Barber as they run through one and two down the back straightaway. Kubion's got the spot. Shannon Basco in the 41 car looking for a passing lane on Robert Barber in 13. Colt Layfield at the back of the pack. He'll spin it around in turn number three, but he'll keep it going. We will stay green. One lap complete. Richie Allen, your race leader. Here comes Joey Kubion to the inside. He's got a lane down the back straightaway. He'll peek his nose to the front, and he'll get by. In turn number three, you've got our new leader. That's the J1 of Joey Kubion. So it'll be Kubion, Richie Allen in the second spot. Shannon Basco third, Robert Barber in fourth, and in fifth will be Colt Layfield. Limited Modifieds, please head to Staging Lane. Limited Modifieds to Staging Lane. Again, Kubion, Allen, Basco, Barber, and the 45 of Layfield. Down the back straightaway and into three and four. Coming out of four to get the halfway signal. Four laps complete. Four laps remain in the street stock heat race. J1 of Joey Kubion is your race leader. Here comes Shannon Basco trying to take away the second spot from Richie Allen as they drive with half this race over. Colt Layfield looking to make a pass on Robert Barber as they come out of turn number four. Layfield has the fourth spot. They're going wheel to wheel down the back straightaway and into three and four. Basco on the bottom. Allen on the top. They're side by side. Coming out of turn number four, Basco's got the spot as they cross the line. Joey Kubion running away from this one. A two to go signal awaits your leader as he passes the flag stand. Two laps remain. Kubion will put the slower car of Robert Barber a lap down. Shannon Basco, Richie Allen is your top three with Colt Layfield and Robert Barber rounding out your field. Race leader Joey Kubion will collect the white flag this time. We have one lap remaining as Robert Barber exits down the back straightaway. Down the back straightaway for the final time and into three and four. He's going to run away with the street stock heat race. Joey Kubion takes the win from Pollock, Louisiana in the J1. Second spot goes to Shannon Basco in the 41. Coming home third will be Richie Allen in the 82. Colt Lake, TJ Bond not able to make the call. It will be David Edwards, Bob Kellogg, Cody Tupper, and Colin Hodges. This is a star-studded affair in heat race number one for the limited modifieds. We'll go eight laps. All cars will advance to tonight's A feature, and the green is in the air. We are limited modified racing. David Edwards with the early lead down into one and two. Here comes Cody Tupper on the bottom, trying to go wheel to wheel with Bob Kellogg through one and two. Colin Hodges in the 31 car in the fourth spot. Down the back straightaway they go and shuffle into turn number three. David Edwards will lead lap number one in the 3D with Bob Kellogg in second. Cody Tupper in the third spot. Colin Hodges rounding out the field. Hodges has a run on Tupper as they go down the back straightaway and into turn number three. Can't make the pass this time. David Edwards pulling away from the rest of the field in the 3D machine. The halfway signal is in the air. We got four laps complete and four laps remain here in heat race number one for the limited modifieds. Two laps remain for David Edwards in the 3D. 
Bob Kellogg in second, Cody Tupper in third, and Colin Hodges still in the fourth spot. White flag is in the air, one lap remains. Down the back straightaway and into three and four. He's checked out on the rest of the field. David Edwards will win heat race number one for the limited modifieds in the Allen Crawfish number 3D. Bob Kellogg will come home in the second spot in the three car. The 23 will be Cody Tupper in third and fourth the 31 of Colin. Katie Beard, attorney Brian Cook, trucks number 88. The 955 will be Robert Metz Jr. from Lubberton, Texas in the Ingalls Racing Performance r and Truck Repair All-in-One Racing, All-in Racing Team. Entry and the 14 junior will be Michael King Jr. from El Dorado. Car shoveled down into one and two. We've got a three car battle for the lead with Wilkerson at the point. Robert Metz Jr. peeks his nose to the inside, making a pass on Colby Johnson. Into three and four they go, and here comes Joey Shirley down on the bottom. Wilkerson, Metz, Shirley, Johnson, and King. Nets trying to find a passing lane on Wilkerson as they exit turn number four and race down the front straightaway. Here comes Joey Shirley in the 88 car on the middle of the speedway. Factory stocks, please report to staging lane. Many sprints, you will be next. Factory stocks after them. Please head to staging lane. Wyatt Wilkerson in the 78. Joey Shirley makes the pass on Robert Nets Jr. Joey Shirley on the outside through turn number two down the back straightaway. They're going to go side by side. Wilkerson has the advantage on the low line. Joey Shirley up on the top. He's got the momentum. Halfway home. We've got four laps down, four laps to go. Wyatt Wilkerson, your race leader in the 78. The 88 of Joey Shirley is in the second spot with Robert Metz Jr. in third. Michael King Jr. able to take the fourth spot away from Colby Johnson. Joey Shirley trying to size up the 78 of Wyatt Wilkerson as they race with three laps to go. They're side by side for the third spot. Michael King Jr. and Robert Metz Jr. battling it out for third. Down the back straightaway they will go and into three and four they'll get the signal for two to go this time by. Joey Shirley right there trying to make a pass on Wyatt Wilkerson as they cross the flag stand. Almost side by side. Wilkerson still has the advantage on the top. Joey Shirley throws it in there a little bit too hard. He gets crossed up in the middle of one and two. Wilkerson all alone now down the back straightaway. He is your race leader. He'll come to collect the white flag with one lap to go. Michael King Jr. inherits the second spot with Robert Metz Jr. in third. Colby Johnson has exited the speedway. And there's one lap remaining. Race leader Wyatt Wilkerson in the 78 down the back straightaway and into three and four for the final time to collect the Sunoco Race Fuels checkered flag. Wyatt Wilkerson in the 78. 14 Jr. Michael King Jr. takes second, the 955. Texas in the 75 will be Sean Wilkins. On his outside, your current point leader and the winner of this race here at Sabine in March. From Huffman, Texas, it'll be Mike Walling in the 29W. The 22 is Dustin Maxwell, 29K is Kinsley Cook, and the 24K is Kendall Gio. Green flag is in the air. Mike Walding out to the early lead. Maxwell will slide ahead into the second spot. The Cook sisters will battle for the third spot down the back straightaway with Gio in the fifth spot. Excuse me, Sean Watkins, Wilkins, excuse me. Sean Wilkins in the 75 car. Mike Walling, your race leader. The 22 of Dustin Maxwell in the second spot. Kinsley Cook, Sean Wilkins, and Kendall Gio is your field. Halfway home, four laps are complete. We've got four laps to go for Mike Walling. 22 of Dustin Maxwell in the second spot. Kinsley Cook in third, Sean Wilkins fourth, and in fifth is Kendall Gio.
Kinsley Cook slides up down the back straightaway and that'll open the door for Sean Wilkins to make a pass for the third spot. Kendall Gio will dismiss himself from this heat race. Two laps to go this time for Mike Walling. Does Dustin Maxwell have anything to reel him in with? Sean Wilkins in the third spot and in fourth is Kinsley Cook. Here comes Dustin Maxwell trying to overtake the lead. White flag is in the air. There's one lap remaining for Walling. Walling, your race leader, Dustin Maxwell on the top, right up above the cushion, trying to find some momentum down the back straightaway. He's got some on the top side of the speedway. Into three and four and out of four. Here they come to the line. It'll be Mike Walling taking the victory. Dustin Maxwell will come home just short in the second spot. Third place will Berlin. And rounding out the field in the sign, Gypsies, Jeffrey Gibson Insurance, Lucas Speed Factory, Callaway Collision. Number 55C from Pasadena, Texas is Connor Chamberlain. We'll go eight laps. Factory stocks, please report to staging lane. Factory stocks to staging lane. Green flag is in the air. We are racing for the Team Racers for Christ Heat Race number two. Weldon Buford out to the early race lead. Cameron Cook in the second spot with Dalton Moss in third. Fourth will be Connor Chamberlain. Deuce Chamberlain will round out the field. One lap in the books for Weldon Buford in the 0-1. Weldon Buford, your race leader in the 01. Cameron Cook in the 30K. Dalton Moss in the third spot. Connor Chamberlain and Deuce Chamberlain rounding out the field. We'll get the halfway signal this time. Four laps complete, four laps remaining in Team Races for Christ. Heat race number two for the National Open Wheel 600s. Two to go for your race leader, Weldon Buford. Got a straightaway advantage over Cameron Cook in the second spot. Who's got a straightaway advantage over Dalton Moss in third? White flag is out. Weldon Buford will put Deuce Chamberlain a lap down in the 95 machine and roll down the back straightaway for the final time. The 01 of Weldon Buford from Alvin, Texas will come home with the heat race number two, Team Racers for Christ victory. Second place goes to Cameron. It's Brian Cook, Richard Tubbs, and Todd Fredu is your field. Cook and Edwards will lead us into one and two. They'll collect the green flag as they cross the line. And we're racing. They'll shuffle down into one and two, side by side, from nose to tail in the field. David Edwards sneaks to the inside of Ross Cook as they go down the back straightaway. Brian Cook in third, fourth Richard Tubbs, and in fifth Todd Fredu. As they cross the line, it'll be Ross Cook, your race leader. Caution flag on the speedway. We got one at the top of turn number four. That's the 8F of Todd Fredu. Caution flag. Green flag as we come out of turn number four. And we're green. 
Richard Tubbs with a good start on the inside of Brian Cook. They'll roll in the one and two. He's on the bumper of David Edwards. Here comes Brian Cook on the top. We got a three car battle for the second spot. Ross Cook out to the lead in the 100 car. Brian slides high, well above the cushion. He'll lose it in the middle of one, three and four, excuse me. Caution flag will come out again. Remaining Ross Cook in the 100 car is at the point. David Edwards and Richard Tubbs, row number two. Green flag will wave. They'll shuffle down into one and two, out of two down the back straightaway. David Edwards, Richard Tubbs, Brian Cook, second, third, fourth. Halfway home, four laps down, four laps complete. Richard Tubbs off the pace in the one T. He'll pull it to the infield out of harm's way. We'll stay green. Caution flag will wave. Ross Cook, your race leader. Green flag is out. Halfway home, four laps down, four laps to go for Ross Cook. David Edwards in the second spot, Brian Cook in third, Todd Fredu in the fourth spot. White flag out this time by Ross Cook, your race leader. Here comes David Edwards in the 3D, trying to make something happen with just a lap to go. Brian Cook in the third spot, Todd Fredu in fourth. Edwards looking for a run down the back straightaway. They go into three and four for the final time in heat race number one. The checkers are in the air. They're side by side out of turn number four. And Edwards got him at the line. David Edwards takes the win. Ross Cook in second, Brian Cook in the third spot and Todd Fredu will round out the field. Jason Ford, Brandon Edwards, Ricky Edwards, Blake Griffin, and Hunter Webb will be your field for heat race number two. Slow pace being set by the pole sitters. Green flag is in the air and we are racing for heat race number two. Jason Ford out to the early race lead. 51 of Brandon Edwards in the second spot. Blake Griffin in third, Ricky Edwards fourth, Hunter Webb in the fifth spot.
Blake Griffin getting crossed up down the back straight away as he rolls into three and four. He'll keep it steady and will stay green. Jason Ford running away with this one. He plays number two. The 51 of Brandon Edwards in the second spot. Two laps to go for Jason Ford in the 32. The 32 of Ford will collect the white flag this time by. One lap remains in heat race competition for the factory stocks. Down the back straightaway and into three and four for the final time in heat race number two. Running away with it in the 32 car will be Jason Ford. Second spot will go to Brandon Edwards. Third will be the 23B of Blake Griffin. In the fourth spot, last excavating number 68 is Bryce Fontelroy. The 91B will be Jonathan Babin and he is from Pineville, Louisiana in the next generation insulation entry. We are green, eight laps in distance. Down the back straightaway, they will shuffle Mark Powell on the bottom, Corey Neal Jr. on the middle. Jerry Vasco, your race leader. Peyton Honeycutt gets shuffled back one position. Seventy-six of Jerry Basco, your race leader. Coming out of turn number four, the sixty-eight of Bryce Fontelroy at the fourth spot. Caden Honeycutt in fifth. Running out the field is Jonathan Babbitt. Cars distancing themselves from each other as. Junior looks to make a, a bid for the race lead on Jerry Basco. We're halfway home. Four laps are complete. We got four to go. Down the back straightaway off the track. The nine car of Mark Powell hard into the grass. Caution flag will wave. We will stay green. Two laps to go, Jerry Basco in the 76, 955 of Corey Neal Jr. Inheriting the third spot, Bryce Fontelroy in the 68. Caden Honeycutt in the fourth spot and in fifth, the 91B of Jonathan Babin. White flag in the air this time for Basco. Down the back straightaway and into three and four. Taking the win, the Sunoco checkered flag goes to Jerry Basco. Corey Neal Jr. in the second spot. Third goes to Bryce Fontelroy. Caden Honeycutt is in fourth. And fifth will go to Jonathan Babbitt in the 91B. So we'll go eight laps in distance. We got six cars on the grid. Jarrett Stuckey, Garrett Gibson, Clayton Stuckey, Bo Begno, James Dubrock, and Joel Kubion in the sixth spot. We are racing. Down the back straightaway and into three and four. They'll shuffle Jarrett Stuckey, Garrett Gibson, Clayton Stuckey, your top three, Bo Begno, James Dubrock, and Joe Cuyon rounds out your field. Out of the machine of the 17, Jarrett Stuckey, Garrett Gibson in the second spot, Clayton Stuckey in third. Four laps down, four laps to go. 
Rubion makes a pass on James Duprock for the fifth spot. Rubion getting crossed up, coming out of the four, down the front straight away, but he'll collect it. Will stay green. Two laps to go as the smoke grows heavier out of the back of the 17 machine. Still running away from the field here. It gives it in second to the front of Clayton in the third spot. Bo Begno, Joe Pubion, and James Duprock rounds out the field. The white flag is in the air. We've got one lap to go. In the one and two, Bo Stuckey. Out of two down the back straight away for the final time. In the three and four, the checkered flag is in the air. He'll take heat race number two, Jarrett Stuckey in the 17. 54G of Garrett Gibson will take home the second spot. Clayton Stuckey will be third. Limited modifieds to staging lane. Limited modifieds to staging lane. You will be next. 15 laps to go. We are feature racing here at Sabine Motor Speedway. Joey Coulion in the J1 out to the early lead with the 41 of Shannon Basco in the second spot. Down the back straightaway, then we'll go Basco looking for a passing lane as they roll into three and four. Colt Layfield on the bottom trying to make a pass on Richie Allen as they come out of turn number four. They'll be side by side for the third spot. Give it to Colt Layfield. Shannon Basco's got the preferred line on the top. He's gonna make a pass down the back straightaway. Your new race leader, the 41 of Shannon Basco. Makes a pass on Joey Kubion as they roll out of turn number four. Basco, your new race leader. This time by, it's gonna be Basco, Kubion, Layfield, Allen, and Barber. The 41 of Shannon Basco pulling away from the field down the back straightaway. Problems for Colt Layfield. He slows, crossed up down the back straightaway. Richie Allen gonna make the pass for the third spot. Here comes Layfield to the inside. They're gonna go side by side. Allen has the third spot for the time being. Halfway home, seven laps complete, eight laps remaining for the 41 of Shannon Basco. Lap traffic about to become a factor in the form of Robert Barber in the M13 car. Race leader of Basco will quickly approach the slower car of Barber into three and four, and will make a seamless pass coming up to turn number four. Big sparks coming out of the rear end of the 41 of Basco, your race leader as Kuvion reels him in down the back straightaway. Just past the halfway point, Basco, your race leader, Kuvion in second. Smoke coming out of the M13 of Barber. Richie Allen running third and fourth is Colt Layfield as Kuvion continues to reel in your race leader of Shannon Basco. Five laps remain in tonight's street stock feature and your leaders are side by side for the lead. To the inside goes Joey Kuvion and down the back straightaway they're gonna bump. Into three and four they go. Basco still has the advantage coming out of turn number four with four laps to go. Basco rolling through the middle of the speedway with Kubion down on the bottom. 
Vasco's got a car length advantage as they roll into three and four to get the three to go signal this time. Vasco still your race leader. Kubion in second. Third is Richie Allen and fourth Colt Layfield. Down the back straightaway they will go. Joey Kubion will look high this time and try to turn the car down toward the bottom. Two laps to go this time by. Who's it gonna be? Will it be Shannon Basco, Joey Kubion? Will Richie Allen be able to throw his hat into the ring as there's a lap and a half left in the street stock feature? White flag will be in the air coming out of turn number four this time by. Basco has the race lead. He's got a half a car length advantage at the flag stand with one lap remaining. Joey Kubion is on the bottom trying to make a pass. He gets crossed up coming out of turn number two and down the back straight away. That will allow Basco to extend his lead. There's one more chance coming to the checkered flag through three and four. Basco's going to hold on. Shannon Basco wins the street stock feature. Joey Kubion second, Richie Allen in third, and Colt Layfield will come home in fourth. Ingles Racing Performance R&L Truck Repair All-In Racing Team. Entry is Robert Metz Jr. Colin Hodges is in the 31, Joey Shirley in the 88, and the 10 car is Colby Johnson. We will go 20 laps for tonight's limited modified A feature. David Edwards in the 3D will shuffle him into one and two. Cars three wide from the nose to the tail. Bob Kellogg on the inside of Wyatt Wilkerson as they roll down the back straightaway and into three and four. David Edwards, your race leader in the 3D, he'll be lap number one. Bob Kellogg out to the second spot with Wyatt Wilkerson in third. Michael King Jr. and Cody Tupper. Here comes Corey Neal Jr. in the 955. The 955 is Robert Metz Jr. 14 Jr. of Michael King Jr. trying to make a pass on the 78 of Wyatt Wilkerson. A pair of young guns there battling out for the third spot. As David Edwards is your race leader, Bob Kellogg, in the second spot. Robert Metz Jr. rounding out the top five. Cody Tepper, Colin Hodges, Joey Shirley, and Kobe Johnson rounding out the field. Problems for Cody Tupper down the back straightaway. It appeared as Colin Hodges begins to reel him in with Joey Shirley right there. Three car battle for the sixth spot. David Edwards pulling away from the rest of the field with Bob Kellogg in a comfortable second place position. Wyatt Wilkerson in third, Michael King Jr. fourth, and in fifth is Robert Metz Jr. Way home, 10 laps are complete. We've got 10 to go. Joey Shirley finally able to make a pass on Colin Hodges out of turn number four and set his sights on Cody Tupper. modified feature has been shortened to 15 laps in distance. Colin Hodges off the pace down the back straight and he'll pull it into the pits. David Edwards, your race leader, Bob Kellogg in the second spot with Mike Anderson in third. Michael King Jr. having problems at the exit of turn number two. He'll stay in the fourth spot for the time being. David Edwards in the 3D. 
Bob Kellogg in the second spot, and in third is Maya Wilkerson. White flag is out. Down the back straightaway and into three and four for the final time. So no go check that flag is in the air for the 3DF. David Edwards, he'll take the limited modified victory tonight. Bob Kellogg will be second and third is the 78 of Wyatt Wilkerson. Fourth place goes to Michael King Jr. in fifth. It'll be down to the line. The 955 of Robert Metz Jr. will hold on to the fifth spot. Cody Tepper comes home sixth. Give it up for your limited modified feature winner, the 3D of David Edwards. Row the 01 of Weldon Buford from Alvin, Texas, and the 29W of Mike Walling from Huffman, Texas. We will go 20 laps for the NOW 600s, and the green flag is in the air. Mike Walling out to the early lead with Weldon Buford in the second spot. Buford will chase Walling down the back straightaway and into three and four. Dustin Maxwell in the third spot with Cameron Cook. Fourth, Kinsley Cook rounds out the top five. Kendall Gio in the 24K will pull to the infield and call it a night. Dustin Maxwell looking for a run on Weldon Buford down the back straightaway. Here comes the 22. Cameron Cook and Kinsley Cook are the fourth and fifth place cars with Dalton Moss in the sixth spot. Seventh place will be the 75 of Sean Wilkins. Connor Chamberlain and Deuce Chamberlain will round out the field. Mike Walling continuing to lead this event. Weldon Buford right behind him with Dustin, Dustin Maxwell in striking distance. Walling runs through the middle of the speedway with Buford a little bit higher. Dustin Maxwell all the way up on the cushion. We got a three-car battle for the fifth spot between Kinsley Cook, the 75 of Sean Wilkins, and Dalton Most. As they roll down the back straightaway, your race leaders coming through one and two. Lap traffic about to become a factor in this 20-lap main event. Weldon Buford's got a passing lane on Mike Walling. They're going to go side by side into three and four as they approach lap traffic. Walling holds the lead for the time being with Buford still right there. Maxwell in striking distance in the third spot. They approach Deuce in the 95 car. Deuce Chamberlain down the back straightaway and into three and four. Walling's going to put him a lap down. Buford held up just a little bit with Dustin Maxwell now. Able to make a move on the inside. Nothing doing this time. Mike Walling still your race leader as they go down the back straightaway. Approaching the halfway point. Mike Walling in the 29. W. Weldon Buford is in the second spot. Dustin Maxwell in third. Walling will put Kinsley Cook a lap down into three and four as he is now distancing himself from the rest of the field. Halfway home, two laps complete. We got one together down the front straight away, and we've got one upside down. Red flag conditions. Red flag conditions on the speedway. In the second spot, third is Sean Wilkins. Kinsley Cook is in fourth, Dalton Most fifth, Connor Chamberlain in sixth, and in seventh is Deuce Chamberlain. We've got 11 laps remaining in the Hilo Vodka A main for the NOW 600s. Green flag is in the air and we are racing. Mike Walling continues the lead in the 29W. We're halfway home, 10 laps complete, 10 laps remaining. 
Cameron Cook in the second spot, the 75 of Sean Wilkins in third. Connor Chamberlain into the infield. He'll call it a night in the 55 C. Dalton Most makes a pass on the 29K of Kinsley Cook out of turn number four. That's for the fourth spot. Mike Walling extending his lead in the 29W as the laps dwindle down. Kinsley Cook off the pace down the back straight away and spun around. Caution flag will wave. is out on the front straightaway. Cars cannot pass before the cone, go under the cone, or run into the cone. If they do, caution flag will fly, and they'll go to the back of the pack. Green flag is out. Problems for race leader Mike Welding as he loses it coming out of turn number four. Caution flag will wait. 13 laps complete, seven laps remaining. Your race lead will go to Sean Wilkins. Dalton Moss, 10 years old in the second spot, and Deuce Chamberlain is in third. We got seven laps to sort them out. Green flag is out. Five laps remaining for the main event. The 75 of Sean Wilkins, your race leader, Dalton Moss in the second spot with Deuce Chamberlain in third. Two laps remain for Sean Wilkins in the 75. White flag is out for Sean Wilkins. One lap remaining in the NOW 600. Kilo Vodka A main. Down the back straightaway goes Wilkins and into three and four. The most unusual feature race goes to Sean Wilkins taking the victory in the checkered flag. Dalton Moss comes home in the second spot in the 84 and rounding out the field in the 95 will be Deuce Chamberlain coming home third. 20 laps in distance for the factory stock A main. It'll be David Edwards, Jason Ford, Ross Cook, Brandon Edwards, Brian Cook, Blake Griffin, Todd Fredu, Hunter Webb, Richard Tubbs, and Ricky Edwards. We are green. David Edwards on the bottom. Jason Ford out to the lead through one and two. Down the back straightaway. Here comes Brandon Edwards on the outside in the 51 car. They'll go side by side for the second spot. A pair of Edwards. David on the bottom. Brandon on the top. Coming out of turn number four, they'll still be side by side. Give it to David by a half a nose at the line. Ross Cook, Brian Cook rounding out the top five. Blake Griffin, Todd Fredu, Hunter Webb, and Ricky Edwards will round out the field. The 32 of Jason Ford running away with the lead. Brandon Edwards has the second spot as they cross the flag stand with David Edwards in third. Brian Cook in the fourth spot as Ross Cook shuffles back a few spots. The 23B of Blake Griffin will take the top five position. Todd Fredu into the infield. He'll call him night in the 8F.
still side by side for the second spot between Brandon Edwards and David Edwards. Ryan Cook in the fourth spot with Blake Griffin in fifth, but he's off the pace in the middle of one and two. Hunter Webb gonna take the fifth spot, and here comes Ross Cook in the 100 car. Blake Griffin off the pace, down the back straight away. He'll pull off the speedway back stretch, and we will continue racing. Jason Ford, your race leader in the 32 with a straightaway advantage over Brandon Edwards. David Edwards in the third spot with Brian Cook in fourth, Hunter Webb in the fifth spot. We got one off the pace down the back straightaway. That's Hunter Webb trying to limp his way into the infield. He won't make it. Caution flag will wave. It's in row number three. Brian on the bottom, Ross on the top, and Ricky Edwards will round out your field in the sixth spot. Green flag is in the air. We are racing. Three wide coming out of turn number four to the flag stand. Brian Cook on the bottom trying to make something happen. Here comes Ross Cook through the middle of the speedway. Down the back straightaway they go. Cook's got the high line. Jason Ford, your race leader. David Edwards in second. Brandon Edwards and Ross Cook will bang wheels as they come out of turn number four. David Edwards looking for a passing lane on. Jason Ford down the back straightaway they go. Approaching the halfway point in the factory stock A main, things are getting pretty hairy. Jason Ford, your race leader, David Edwards, Ross Cook, your top three. Last week's winner, Brandon Edwards, losing some ground. Now back to the fourth spot with Brian Cook in fifth. The D3 of David Edwards gets a little bit too high. Coming out of turn number two, Ross Cook down to the bottom. Inside lane is open. And the halfway signal is in the air. 10 laps complete, 10 laps to go. They're side by side at the line. Ross Cook's got him by a nose. Side by side action for the second spot and the fourth spot a ways back. David Edwards able to overtake him back for the second spot. Jason Ford still your race leader in 32. Brandon Edwards will slide high coming out of turn number two, opening the door for Brian Cook to take the fourth spot away. Jason Ford, your race leader. David Edwards got something cooking on top. Can he make a pass? Ross Cook down the back straight away. He's gonna have the open door on the bottom. Here they come into three and four. Cook and Edwards continuing to race side by side, lap after lap. Brian Cook in the fourth spot with Brandon Edwards in fifth. Jason Ford, your race leader in the 32 as lap traffic will now become a factor in the form of Ricky Edwards down the back straightaway. There will be five to go this time by five laps remain. The 32 of Jason Ford right there in the race lead. David Edwards stalking your race leader looking for an opening as they approach lap traffic. The slower car of Ricky Edwards right there. They're gonna go three wide down the back straightaway. The 32 of Jason Ford, your race leader. Here comes David Edwards on the bottom groove. And they're side by side at the line. David Edwards has got him. Jason Ford says, I'm not done yet. He's got the bottom line going down the back straightaway, coming out of turn number two. And here comes Ross Cook in the 100 car. Jason Ford gonna make contact with David Edwards out of turn number four. Can't make anything happen this time. Ross Cook on the middle of the speedway. Here they go, he drifts high. Here comes Jason Ford, Ross Cook. Three car battle for the lead with two laps remaining. 
David Edwards, your race leader with two laps to go. Jason Ford in the second spot and Ross Cook right there, able to capitalize if something happens. The D3 of David Edwards has the half car length advantage rolling into three and four. The white flag will be in the air this time by Jason Ford's going to throw her in there. Coming out of turn number four, Edwards has it at the line. White flag is out. One lap remains. Down the back stretch they go for the final time into three and four. The Sunoco checkered flag is in the air. And the D3 of David Edwards will hang on for the win. Jason Ford comes home second, Ross Cook in the third spot. Brian Cook will be fourth, and rounding out the top five will be Brandon Edwards in the fifth. Cars on the speedway, we will go 20 laps for our final race of the night. Here is your great late models. Jerry Basco, Jarrett Stuckey, Corey Neal Jr., and Garrett Gibson will get us underway. We are racing. They'll shuffle down into one and two. Jerry Basco's got the early lead in the 76. 17 of Jarrett Stuckey, former winner here this season at the Sabine Motor Speedway, is in the second spot. Corey Neal Jr. in third. The top five will go to Bryce Montelroy and Jared Gibson rounding it out. Cars come together in the middle of one and two, but Kumion's able to collect it and keep on going. We will stay green. Jerry Basco paces the field in the 76B with the 17 of Jarrett Stuckey in second. Bryce Fonteroy's got a run down the back stretch on the 955 of Corey Neal Jr. Looking for the third spot coming out of turn number four. Bobby Basco, Stuckey, Neal, Fonteroy, and Stuckey. Still your race leader, Jarrett Stuckey, Corey Neal Jr., Bryce Fauntleroy, Clayton Stuckey, Garrett Gibson, Doug Bovegno, Peyton Honeycutt, Joel Kubiak. Ninety-one B is Jonathan Babin with James Dubrock and Cliff Tupper rounding out the field. Kubion off the pace down the back straightaway as the 91 of Jonathan Babin will pass him. Kubion will pull off the back straightaway. Here comes Garrett Gibson in the 54G trying to make a pass on his teammate Clayton Stuckey. Smoke still pouring out of the 17 machine driven by Jarrett Stuckey. He's in the second spot trying to track down your leader Jerry Basco. Lap traffic about to become a factor here at the Sabine Motor Speedway as the leader approaches the 23 junior of Cliff Tupper Jr. We're halfway home, 10 laps complete, 10 laps remaining. Jerry Basco still your race leader down the back straightaway with half this race gone. Lap traffic will become a factor soon. Clayton Stuckey up well above the cushion. That's going to open the door for Garrett Gibson to take the fifth spot away from it. Bryce Fauntleroy making the long haul from Covington. He's running fourth right now. Bridge City, Texan. 95 Corey Neal Jr. in the third spot. Jerry Basco disposing of back traffic as we speak. He's got by Tupper and Dubrock down the back straightaway. He'll set his sights on the 91B of Jonathan Babbitt. If he can overtake him, he'll have a break for a short while. 17 of Jared Stuckey, all out of shit, coming out of turn number four in the second spot. And here comes Corey Neal Jr. Bryce Fauntleroy and fourth, Garrett Gibson in the fifth spot. Basco trying to put Jonathan Babbitt a lap down as the laps dwindle down in, in the great and all of future race. Stuckey hits a big run in one and two. Corey Neal Jr. down on the bottom underneath Jarrett Stuckey trying to make a pass but cannot do it just yet. 
Vasco's gotten by the 91 feet of Babin down the back straightaway, and he's got clean air to run with. Jonathan Babin off the pace down the back straightaway as Stuckey will overtake him. And here comes Corey Neal Jr. to the inside. Two laps to go. Clayton Stuckey slowed down the back straightaway. Jerry Vasco still your race leader. Jarrett Stuckey in second. Corey Neal Jr. in third. Bryce Montreal fourth. And Garrett Gibson in fifth. White flag is in the air. We got one lap remaining on our race night here at Sabine. Heavy smoke coming out of the 17th car of Jarrett Stuckey. And Corey Neal Jr. is off the pace down the front straightaway. White flag is in the air, down the back straightaway they go. Out of three and four, taking the victory in the 76B is Jerry Basco. Second place goes to the 17 of Jared Stuckey. Third will be the 68 of Bryce Monteroy. Fourth is Garrett Gibson and rallying to collect the top.